Welcome to the ComWeb video training series. In this video, we will cover how to process pending members for your HOA website. Let's begin. There will be times when a resident attempts to register for the website, and the registration attempts will require approval from you, the administrator. For security purposes, when this happens, you'll receive an email notification that looks a lot like this one. Just follow the hyperlinks provided in the email to access the pending members queue. You can also navigate to this area by clicking on the Welcome drop-down menu and selecting Membership, then selecting the sub-tab labeled Pending Member Access. Here you will see all registration requests that require your attention. Click Process next to your resident's name. You'll notice that all possible matching records that already exist in your membership database have populated here. Check the box next to the matching record, then link the record. This will open the Approval Notification email. Verify the verbiage within the email, then click Approve and Send to send the resident an email notification letting them know that their registration has been processed and approved. It's that simple. Just link and approve. There may be instances when a spouse submits a registration request but is not in your membership database for that household. Here we have a request for Kimberly Bass. Just check the box next to the primary record holder's name and click Add as a Related Record. The information submitted in the resident's registration request will auto-populate in the member record fields. Just click the Save button and then close the window. Click the Search button to refresh your search after adding the new record. Check the box for your newly created corresponding record, then Link, Approve, and Send. There will also be times when residents forget that they've registered and will attempt to re-register for the website. Check the box next to the corresponding record and a message will appear in red notifying you that this resident already has a user account. Just click the button that says send login info and remove request. This will send them an email with their login credentials and remove the registration request from your queue. Sometimes you will get registration requests from people outside of your community. Here we have a request from someone who lives in a community with the same name but in a different state. Because they do not belong in your community, there is no record to link. Simply click the reject button. Check the rejection email for verbiage. You can always add in details. Then click the reject and send button to send the rejection notification email. Finally, there may be instances when a renter submits a registration request. Here we have a request from John Smith who has identified himself as a renter in his comments. In this instance, we generally recommend that the homeowner make the decision to grant the resident access to the website. This suggestion, of course, fluctuates based on the laws applicable within your state. In any case, processing renter is a slightly different process that both administrators and homeowners are capable of performing. So we've created a separate tutorial that can be viewed by either homeowner or administrator wishing to add a renter to their profile. Thanks for watching. For more information and helpful tutorials, visit our support site at support.comwebforme.com.